everyone, welcome to the Fairy Zen. My name is Alice. Today we're going to play the second episode of the Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge. Right now it's the early morning in summer in Hanford on Begley. I absolutely love the scenery of this world. The whole world is super beautiful and we are living, well, Macy is living in the Bramblewood, as you can see right now on the screen. In the previous episode, I introduced you to our legacy founder Macy and told you about the rules of the challenge. Despite our attempts to befriend the wild animals, we failed. But our neighbor Reese was kind enough to teach us how to fish. And fishing became our means of earning money before we embarked on our botanist career. Exploring the town of Hanford on Begley, we met new neighbors and cultivated our first crops, including chocolate berries we found in the bramble wood. Our journey led us to Sylvan Glade in search of a cowpunk berry, but I discovered it can only be found in Oasis Springs, so that's on the agenda for today. Before we went home, our plans took a surprising turn when we learned of an inheritance from a distant relative. The catch though, we must marry within a week to claim it. First, we are actually going to have to go to work because Macy slept in a little bit too much so she's a bit late so let's get her to work really quickly first we are going to try and socialize with our co-workers because I don't believe we know <laughs> any of our co-workers so let's try and do that as you can see there's a holiday tomorrow this is actually a custom holiday that i set for us so tomorrow is a new hobby day i put a few things in there which macy can choose to do she doesn't have to do all of them but one of the uh things that we have to do for this challenge is get our wellness skill to level 10 so i really do want her to start meditating and doing yoga soon so i thought tomorrow would be the perfect day to start leveling up that skill and i also just want her to start uh, the fitness skill and i want her to also take a bath because i do want her to have a little bit of a self-care moment tomorrow as well and we can see that Tuesday, which is not going to be in this episode, but in the third episode, we are going to do a reel in fish derby. And we are going to, well, the plan is that we go fishing with a few friends and have a barbecue and have some water fun and take some pictures. I thought it would be really fun. And here's another one, but I will not spoil that one for you. I thought it would be fun if we could fill up the calendar with some more custom holidays so we can really make it a personal thing for Maisie. Uh, let's get back to work. I hope we can meet some co-workers today. Maisie has been promoted to soil sifter. She will now make an additional one simoleon per hour for a grand total of 21 per hour. She has also received the following bonus 300 and a start of vegetables which are really gonna come in use. And her next shift is on Sunday which is tomorrow and her work day starts at 8pm which was the same as today. Oh she's getting a little bit stinky but we are going to just to sell this for some more money because we'll be able to harvest some more pretty quickly i assume it's oh, this is spoiled do we have a trash can i don't think we do we had 140 simoleons when we left off from the previous episode and we had a 300 bonus today and we also made some money today so I'm gonna check that really quickly um, well I'm just gonna add 300 so that's gonna be 440 simoleons between the episode I uh, was preparing something for the future of this let's play and I needed her to have some more money uh, to build something, but then I forgot to put it back. This one is very ugly, but we'll change that later when she has some more money to spend. 
But first, we need to focus on the important parts. Let's put that in there. And we have some starter vegetables. You know what? We can just plant those like right here. Let's open them and see what we've got. Okay, mushrooms, potatoes, and bell peppers. Well, you know what? I think we have more than enough bell peppers for now. Let's see how far we are at, with our aspiration. So we're on level three of the gardening, gardening skill and we haven't evolved any plants yet. Let's see, I think we're gonna focus on fertilizing these first with some mushrooms. Um, maybe we should do some researching to get our skill up. And when she's done in her garden, we can take a shower. Oh, oh no, they're fighting! We we need to stop them. <laughs> Ask Alberta not to sail while well, she's... Um, can we like save you? Can we do anything? Stop it. Well, you know what? They're going separate ways. So, we've taken a shower. And the... Um, red is still there or mouse i don't know but we're gonna place a trap again for some reason i can't read the descriptions of the moodlets and i don't know what's causing that okay i have fixed it somehow i just reloaded into the save file and now i can read the captions again so <laughs> that's good uh, anticipation of serenity from full body workout day. A sense of tranquility blankets your stim as they prepare for full body yoga routine workout day. Envisioning a serene journey ahead, a day devoted to harmonizing body and soul, laying the groundwork for a mindful and invigorating experience. So this is a moodlet for um, actually for tomorrow. It's because of this um, holiday tradition that I downloaded, which is very cute. I didn't know there were moodlets for these, so that's nice. <laughs> so she's going to prepare for a very um, mindful and invigorating experience tomorrow. And we are feeling great from our high needs. We're happy because she's a cheerful sim, moving on up from promotion. And oh yeah. <laughs> This is a thing. Macy accepted the offer of a giant inheritance over the phone, but now she has only seven days to get married to satisfy the hidden conditions of the reward. Why does this always seem to happen to her? So, um, we actually have only six days left to get married. We don't even have, like, um, a love bar with anyone. Steven loves the outdoors, so that's good. He has a job. And we have amazing compatibility, so... You know, he's definitely um, a good potential spouse, but I actually, I don't know. I don't want to go for the first guy we meet, you know? And there's also some very cute girls like Valentina is super pretty. Uh, Noemi is also very cute, but we haven't actually really met Noemi. We just, um, well, Maisie uh, said hi to her out of her own but she didn't really talk to her so we don't know her but I think Macy might want to get to know her and Darren oh well we have bad compatibility so we don't have to pay attention to you um I'm sorry Rory I love you but I don't really want to be romancing a werewolf right now at least not for Macy I'm so sorry you know what uh, we're gonna focus on something else today so in the last episode, we tried to catch a cowpunberry, but we failed because I uh, made a fish in Sylvan Glade, which is the wrong area. We actually have to go to Oasis Springs to catch a cowpunberry. So I think we're just going to do that for now. Uh, the rest I want to get done today is... Um, well, I wanted to, her to advance in her career, but she actually got a promotion, so we can already check that off. I want her to expand her social circle a bit more, but we can still do that. We can even meet some people in Oasis Springs. And I want to improve her skills, but because we still have to fish 
for a Calcon Berry, we're just going to improve on the fishing skill again today. And oh my gosh, um, now I have to look up where we, exactly we have to go in Oasis Springs because I'm playing in a save file and now I'm just a little bit lost. <laughs> okay, so I think we have to go to the Desert Bloom Park. And um, Google says that from there we have to go to a small pond next to the mountains. So this is the car and so I said that we're playing in a save file made by somebody else and this is actually the ultimate save file I believe. This is created by Plumb Up Kingdom and this is my absolutely <laughs> ultimate favorite save file because they actually updated the world with the tool mod so there's all these like additional little places so there's a whole lot more greenery than there used to be so i think it's this place but i'm not sure oh we can harvest uh some blackberries first oh wait grady is actually asking us to go to the romans festival okay so um we have to get married within six days we haven't met anyone yet where we have a flirty connection with and i said that we were gonna fish for the goblin berry today but i didn't know grady was going to invite us to the romance festival so i think we are gonna go and say yes because we can just go back and fish for a goblin berry later maybe even tomorrow morning or something so you know what we are going to go to the Roman festival. I so often say no to these things, so I'm actually really excited to go to the Roman festival again. I haven't done that in quite a while, and I always love to ask the like love guru about m the future of my Sims love life <laughs> because it can be a little bit um, dramatic sometimes, and it's really funny. So. Uh, we can do that today as well, and we can get to know Greg a little bit more. So here we are in San Myshino, so this is quite a different place than our quaint Hanford on Bagley. She's looking very happy in her little dungarees. This is such a cute outfit she's wearing. This is her hot weather outfit, or well, one of her hot weather outfits. And this is our date for today. And let's drink some tea together first uh, for some security together <sighs> so we are going to be drinking some security together where's this oh <laughs> Um, I have a mod installed that changes the way Sims dance, so if you're wondering why my Sims dance differently than yours, that's why. I might be deleting this though because I'm not sure I like the way they're dancing, but I, I don't know, it's also quite cute. I'm not sure. Are we not sitting next to our date? Is this ours, right? Drink. Uh, we can sit here together. Is he flirting with someone else? <gasps> He's flirting with Katrina? You know what? That's not my business. You know what? We're gonna shoot our shot. We're a little bit flirty from drinking the security, but we're also just... Let's talk about the effects first. Can you stop flirting with Katrina? We're here together. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, um, well, are we going to talk together or not? I also just want to, like, describe flirty dream about Grady. We haven't actually dreamt about you, but, you know, we can pretend. Let's see if we can, um, you know, we love gardening, gardening so much, and I think we can bond over that. You know what? Let's flirt a little bit. Yes or no? <laughs> they are floating together. You know, love a personality archetype. Ready virtue signs of the love a personality archetype. We, I think we've actually known that before. Oh, the look she's giving us. Does he like it? He likes us. I think. 
Oh, is she crying? No, she's just angry, I think. Ask about attractiveness preferences. Let's see if he likes his. Maisie has known Grady for a while now, but somehow things are different now. Maisie had always thought that she would recognize his soulmate from the moment she met him, but it turns out that love was right under Maisie's nose all along. Soulmate? We we haven't even we've met him once before this. Found the one! Maisie can't believe it. I didn't even see it didn't even seem possible, but she has found the one. He is her soulmate? Things just feel a bit brighter when Maisie is near her soulmate. I don't know how to feel about this. It just went so quickly. Romantic interest. It's too early to tell, but there could definitely be something here. Okay, we don't even really know anything about him. What is he doing? Ask what? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're still asking him what he thinks of us. I like body piercing. Okay, well, that's um specific. We have, we have earrings. Is that like enough for you? But like, do you think we are attractive? Let's joke about getting together. Maybe this is a little bit soon, but like, do you like feel like we've known each other for like a very long time already? Even though we just like met once before. Oh, he's walking away. Um, so we are confused. So we need guidance. We need love guidance from <laughs> precious precious romance guru's wisdom. Yes, we, please, please, precious, help us out because we have met this man who invited us over to a Romans festival after meeting us one time, then he flirted with somebody else, but I kind of feel like we're soulmates. Some say love will tear us apart, some say love will keep us together. You must decide for self. <laughs> what do you believe in? Um, can we like get a little bit clearer advice? Ask about your romantic destiny. Let's ask about our romantic destiny because we don't know. Should we go, should we like go for this man? Love is an open door is like playing in my mind right now. <laughs> I feel like we're like rushing into things. But we are gonna go with her advice. If it's like hinting at going with with Brady, your true love is closer than you think. Okay, you know what? Um, Literally every sign that we are getting is pointing us to Brady, I think, but she is right there and he's just flirted with her, so I'm confused. It says Grady is our soulmate, so, um, <laughs> we are going to gather some courage and then we can see if we can uh, advance our romance with Brady. Someone's dizzy. We also need to get to bed like very quickly because Macy is feeling very tired. He's giving us a compliment. That's so sweet. Look at him looking at us. Okay, you know what? That's actually quite cute. He is quite adorable, don't you think? I hate her. You know what? I'm just gonna send her away. <laughs> she's a, she's just really annoying me. We are not gonna rush into things. Macy might think she is. She has found her soulmate, but I don't want her to get her heart broken. So we're just gonna give him our number. We just um gonna give him a hug and then we're gonna go home because we are very tired. You know what, Brady? It was so lovely to spend this time with you. Rib off a clothing. Yes, Ms. Sure. You know what? Let's take a picture together. Misty Prada. Oh, yeah. oh, that's this is cute. Oh, um, we are gonna go to the toilet really fast. Uh, it was great to be here with you, Grady, but um, 
we are very tired right now, so we really need to go. <laughs> he looks happy. Okay, so we've gotten back home and she's really tired. Um, but before we go to bed, I actually am going to hang up some pictures. So let's get the best quality one. I think this is quite a cute placement. Look at their picture together. Let's brush our teeth and then she can go to bed. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. Macy got a promotion today, so that's amazing. And we ended up changing our plans. We didn't go fishing for a cow plant, but we went to the Romans festival with Greggy. And I think it was actually super cute. And Macy um, feels like Grady is her soulmate. So we're going to see where that's going to go in the next episode. So I want to know what you think. Should Macy rush into marriage with Grady or another potential lover within just five days to snag that inheritance money? Or should she take her time and let love bloom naturally? I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, leave a comment down below, give the video a like, and thank you for watching.